All right, so the big story, of course, is the Cousins tag. We'll be talking about it all morning, uh, taking your calls. Uh, but, of course, he was tagged with the exclusive tag. So he cannot actually go out and or his agent can't go out and field offers. The team has to do it or the team has to give them permission to do it. So uh, we'll see where that goes. Um, all right, big, big, big win for the Wiz last night. Of course, the big news, the bigger news is the KD injury. But the Wizards did beat the Warriors 112-108. Pretty much handled them the entire game. Got tight, obviously, in the second half. But they were up big at the at the uh, at halftime. They were up almost 20 at one point. Um, but KD only played a minute, minute and a half before he his knee hyperextended. From what you're reading and hearing from like the the Golden State people and the and the newspapers out there, it doesn't look good. Sounds like they're bracing for him missing possibly months of action. Yeah, also, I mean, if he's educated, got something torn, he's done for the year. Educated, and that would kill them. Yeah, educated kill guesswork them. is he got the MRI last night, so they kind of know what's up. Yep. The educated guesswork is if they knew it was something minor, they probably would have put that news out there. You would think that this is kind of the way it I works. I when can't it's bad fathom news. what it is. I mean, I hope it's not an ACL. But it's not good. It's not, not good. good. When they immediately go to the MRI machine, they know it's bad. That was yeah. the play Gortat threw Pachulia. Yeah. And then Pachulia just rolled up on his knee. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just terrible. Was there a uh, KD, when he came last year with the Thunder, did he have an injury in that game too? Or did he only play a quarter, a half? I kind of remember, remember that. I remember, remember he only played, too. he was limited in that game too? I kind of remember that, yeah. Um, so, he <laughs> He hasn't been lucky here in Washington the last couple of years. But, but they were lucky as a team that Curry was two for nine from the three point line. And Thompson was three Ray for Thompson 13. Thompson was three for 13 from the three point line. Curry there's actually a lot got a of look. Mini- there's a lot of minimizing the Wizards' win. No, it's in a this big room. win for the Wizards. From what, one, from what I'm hearing. One wow, of the big I mean, things lucky that KD went out. Lucky KD, that Curry was cold from the field. No, well, Curry could have been cold from the field even if KD plays, but KD going out killed them. It impacted the game, no doubt. Big time. One thing, though, that I noticed, and it's because the Wizards had lost their previous two games. They cared about the game a whole lot more than Golden State. You could see it throughout the game. If you just saw shots of the bench, it almost seemed like the whole game, the Wizards bench was standing up. Almost like a playoff game. They were so fired up when they would hit threes, anything like that. And for Golden State, just another game. It's well, I mean, only... look, KD going out affected the entire team. Affected the coaching staff, affected the team. It had to have. Psychologically. The Wiz are now slightly ahead of Toronto again. They're just kind of going back and forth over the last few oh, days. Oh, and who do they draw tonight? The Raptors. Well, who, and they draw them again on Friday. They play them tonight in Toronto. And Friday and here. Friday here. Yep. Well, home and home. So two huge games coming up If you had the bet cakes, the Wizards will go 2-0, and 1-1, oh, and one, or 0-2 <clears> oh, against the Raptors. If I had to bet, I don't like to bet. I'm not a betting man. I bet they split. Yeah. Probably so. It's going to go down to the wire. They need to get that three seed, in they, my opinion. Stay away they from may, Cleveland in the second round. They may get Brandon Jennings here in the next day or two. I like the pickup. Jennings, career average about 15 points per game. But even this year where he's getting limited time because he was backing up Derrick Rose, averaging almost nine points a game. So you put him and Bogdanovich with Kelly Oubre. Now, all of a sudden, your bench has gotten a lot better. It's pretty respectable. Well, a lot Mahimi, more too. Their second unit's much better yeah. now with Bobo and Mahimi. Jason Smith and if you add Jennings gets to no it, time now. Well, no, he's, he's, done. he's the team cheerleader <laughs> yes, now. He's I like the Jason Smith. I like what he brought. But when you bring in better pieces, right. that, that's sometimes what, you have to take the bench. That's where Jason Smith should be. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? He, he shouldn't be like your seventh man. He's and a Trey Trey Burke, spot up shooter, though. Trey Burke got as many minutes as you did last night. Zero. <laughs> But Mahimi... Um, <laughs> he had a he good was, seat, though, to watch. Mahimi, even though he didn't score a lot of points, he only had 6 and 16 minutes, but he had 6 boards. He did have a block. He's a clear difference maker in the paint. He well, he's not going to score points, right? I mean, that's yeah, I mean, he it's, does. He's going to have layups, 16. dunks, follow-ups. But my point is, he was a difference maker just being there. His presence, he yeah. affects shots. Right. And um, and then Bobo, had he had 5 shots, in, including three threes. So, I mean, those guys make the team a lot better, obviously. I'm so glad that John Wall silenced all those bandwagon Warriors fans that showed up. Hmm. It seemed like there were more Wiz fans in the building by yeah, a I feel lot. Like the, I feel like the bandwagon fans <clears throat> from other teams, it's dissipating a little bit. I think it's slowing down a bit with the Wizards' recent run of success. I like it. Terps got a big win last night, beat Rutgers. They, of course, had been struggling, but... Um, you know, Rutgers isn't great, but they're you know not an easy out up there. It, uh, team scoring by 20.
shot the ball well. <laughs> the turn out Seton Hall three and a half. Really? Yeah, I mean, he's having some bad luck. That's a rough one. Mm. El- elsewhere, uh, number nine Kentucky. They came back. They were down big, but beat Vandy by six. Duke beat Florida State seventy five seventy. Purdue clinches at least a share of the Big Ten regular season. They won. They beat IU. You, did, you didn't hit the caps on the sports page. Caps won four one. They were down one nothing. Uh, I don't know when I was watching. It was second period. Yep. Midway through second period. Mojo scored twice. Yeah, and they end up scoring four straight goals. They won four one. Big time. Big uh, first win for the Caps over the Rangers this yep. year. Like Shad and Kirk played. And the he Nats played the well. Nats signed Joe Blanton one year four mil. And what does that mean? He pitched for the um, just a rel- another reliever out of the pen. I don't know right, what it means. But he's not going to be a closer candidate, right? I mean, he's never closed before. Unlikely. I, I, I would be shocked. 